Hey guys, it's Minty. Did you miss me? No? Okay. Understandable. I wouldn't miss myself either. You probably already forgot that I exist anyway. Which is also understandable. Sometimes I also forget that I exist. Anyways, today I'm back. Question mark. With another um, tutorial uh, on physics. Because apparently my last one was not very helpful. I mean, it was, but it also wasn't. I kept getting comments like, Help me, my model's physics are fucked up, but they're everywhere. They're still shaky. Help me, help me, help me. Well, first of all, did you watch the video? Second of all, if you did watch the video and follow the steps and the, fix the physics are still um, shaky, then here's probably why. And I'm not gonna even say anything right now, I'm just gonna show you what most of you probably do wrong that cause your physics to, well, fuck up, pretty much. Sick, looks great, but does it work? Probably not. Let's see what our PMX editor says. Oh no, why are the physics doing that? Why is the hair like that? Oh no, I know I sound so uh, enthusiastic throughout this. Well, your first mistake is well, when it comes to the skirt, you notice the skirt uh, was right in the center. Uh, it shouldn't be. You should move it away first, save it, like, well, in the position that you put it in, like the hair, and then upload it here. The hair was in a good position, like, let me show you. So, oopsie. When I uploaded it, it was already here at the back, but why did it still fuck up? What do you think? The answer is simple. You didn't move neither the physics, bones, or the joints together with the hair. These three things have to be aligned with the part that these physics are attached to. So I'm gonna undo everything right now. Um, and actually, I'm gonna upload the skirt here first. And you have to select from the mask uh, tab like everything, check all then in the PMX view select bones, body, joints and at the bottom choose this gray thingy it uh, allows you to select the invisible bones because if you don't do that then I'm gonna show you what it does or doesn't do if you don't select them. So your bones will just drag like this. Those red things, those are your bones. So you have to uh, select this gray thing and select everything. So move it away somewhere. I usually put it um, behind the model, but you can put it either in front of it, to the left of it, to the right of it. It doesn't matter where, just just for me, it's more comfortable when I put it behind the model. So I'm gonna save it. Now, you have this part over here. It's good if you also rename it so it's easier for you to um, find it in the mask tab. So like in the like you did just now, select bones, body, joints, the gray circle thingy here. And now select everything that's here. Do not touch anything because you will fuck it up. You can hide these so it will be more comfortable, but do not deselect this one because it will fuck you up. You can deselect the blue 
bone thingy here, but do not deselect the gray one because, like I said, you will fuck it. And then just do the usual way the way you want. I am just gonna half ass it because I'm not gonna use this model anyway. Um, it's just for tutorial purposes, you know. I'm not gonna fix it, I'm not gonna do much, I'm just gonna put it in a whatever way. And now with the Tita hair. Nice. Oh boy. Why? Okay. And the same with the Tita hair. Just select everything. Do not forget bones, physics, joints, invisible bones. Do not forget them. For the love of God, do not forget them. Because if you do, it will look like what it looked like in the beginning. And so you just do that. Again, I'm not gonna fix it. Whoa, laptop. Shush, shush, shush. Chill. I'm almost done, laptop. Good boy. Um, so yeah. Let's see if the physics work now. Wow, it's like magic. Yeah, guys, so I guess that's all. That's another very short tutorial. But <clears throat> I hope it helped. If for some reason your model's physics are still shaky, doing whatever, then uh, let me know. I'm gonna make another physics video. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you have a nice day. I feel like I'm missing something what I usually say in my videos. I haven't made videos in almost a year. Forgive me. <laughs> Anyways, hope you have a nice day. I already said that, but I hope you will have a nice day today and tomorrow and any other day. And I'll see you in my next video whenever I make it which will probably be next year. I don't know. Who knows? Anyways, goodbye.